Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Naz. And I'm Alba, and in this video, we're going to share with you the best destinations in Italy for a weekend getaway. Yes, so Italy is a huge country. We've been to Italy about three times together, but a few more times separate. Uh, and in this video, we want to tell you all the best places to visit as a weekend getaway. Yes, um, all the places that we have chosen are easy to get in and out of so that you can go in two or three days for a weekend getaway because there's a lot of other beautiful places in Italy but they're of difficult access so you wouldn't really be able to see them in a weekend. For sure. Right, so let's get started. The first place we recommend you to visit is Rome. Rome is the capital city of Italy, it's also the biggest city and there's just so much to see. Rome has the largest collection of ancient ruins to visit. When we saw the Colosseum for the first time, I thought I was in a movie, for real. Uh, but yeah, there's the Roman Forum, there's the Fontana di Trevi, uh, Piazza di Spagna, where you can see the best sunset, probably the best sunset of Rome. Yeah. Uh, and you can also visit the Vatican from there, which I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, the food is something that will not disappoint you and the city overall has a great vibe. There's a great hype around it, but also a great vibe. So I definitely recommend you to visit and if you want to know more, check the link in the description because we, put a, we wrote a blog uh, about how to see Rome in three days. The second destination is, of course, the famous Venice. Um, we've not been there together yet, but I have been in a couple of occasions alone and I can tell you that it is a unique destination. It is a perfect place to unwind. And it's actually easier to get to than people might think because it has an airport, so easy to get in and out of for a weekend getaway. And what makes this place so unique is that Venice is built on over a hundred small islands in a lagoon, so there's no roads and you get around with boats. So it's very romantic, very dreamy, and obviously a once in a lifetime experience and you guys need to visit. We should, we should probably go together. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Soon. next yeah, let's do <laughs> Number three is Florence. So this is another place that we actually haven't been to together, uh, but it's a perfect destination for a cultural getaway. The art and architecture and just the whole city is very kind of famous, very unique. Um, and another point for Florence is that just an hour away you can visit the Tower of Pizza, which is another very famous destination. Yeah, so perfect for a couple of days. Um, I have been and I remember the beautiful river and bridges that runs across the center of the city. Um, so yeah, gorgeous and that's why it's in our number three. Number four, we have Bari. We've been to Bari this year and actually we thought that it is one of the most underrated destinations in Italy. It is such a beautiful city. Um, it is small but it still has things to see. It has a castle, it has lots of really beautiful historical churches to visit. Um, so it's perfect for a relaxed getaway. Yeah, one of the really good things about Bari as well is that it's by the sea, so it's in Puglia. Uh, if you go during the summer you can go to the beach, but we went in springtime. And it was actually really nice to just walk around, have some ice creams, ice creams in the sun, yeah. explore the city. Yeah, um, so we will leave the vlog here so that you can uh, watch it if you're interested in going, see how beautiful is the city and what are the things that you can do while you're there. In number five, we have Palermo. So Palermo is actually in the island of Sicily, the biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, Palermo has a, a, an airport, so it's easy to get to and the city has a lot to explore, but not too much that feels overwhelming. Uh, it's also by the sea, so you can get cultural tourism and beach tourism at the same time, in one go, if you can. Yeah, and if you guys visit, um, you have to go see the cathedral and the Cappella Palatina because they are gorgeous. Um, we've been recently, so we'll leave the vlog here as well so that you can check out what are the things to do in Palermo. But these are not the only places you should visit in Italy. If you have a little bit more time than two or three days, we recommend you to go to Sorrento. That's right, we were there uh, not long ago and we absolutely fell in love with the town of Sorrento. And the reason for that is because apart from the fact that it's beautiful, it's by the sea and you get gorgeous views of the volcano and Napoli, um, it is only about an hour away from the Amalfi coast and the beautiful towns of Amalfi and Positano. So you actually get to do both in one holiday. The only thing is we didn't include it in the list because you do need a little bit more time because it's difficult to get to and you have to drive one hour to the Amalfi coast. Um, so just account for like four or five days for this trip. Yeah, so you have to fly to Napoli, take a metro that's roughly 45 minutes to an hour yeah. to get to Sorrento and then from there if you take a bus 
uh, for in 40 minutes you're in Positano yeah. and then in another 40 you're in the town of Amalfi. So yeah, something to keep in mind, you may need a little bit more time than two or three days, but beautiful. We'll also leave our vlog uh, linked here so that you can go check it out and consider going to Sorrento and Amalfi. Other cities worth mentioning that we actually really loved was Napoli in the south of Italy and Milan in the north of Italy. Yes, and um, we didn't include them because they're different type of getaways, uh, but they're still worth mentioning and still worth considering um, for your trips. Uh, Napoli is very chaotic, very busy city, so some people don't like it, but if it is your vibe, definitely consider it. Um, we'll leave also our vlog here to check it out. Yeah, I would say Na Napoli is very authentic. Yes. That's a good way of describing it. Absolutely, and you know, I, I would definitely encourage everyone to go visit it because it's a different type of an Italian city. Yeah, and Milan, on the other hand, I felt it was a lot calmer, uh, a lot cleaner. Uh, apart from the Duomo, uh, there's not that many kind of flashy places to see, but the, the streets are really nice to walk around and there's quite a few things to see. But Milan is more famous for shopping, for nights out with friends. I had a lot of fun with, when I went with my friends, but uh, I wouldn't put it necessarily on my top five. Yeah, but still worth all of these places considering. Um, so that's everything for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed. If you still have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any additional recommendations that we missed, please leave in the comments so that people can consider your uh, suggestions as well. Yes. So don't forget to hit the like button, to comment, to subscribe, <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video.